Hello readers. I have two strategies I want to teach you today. So we have been learning all about how this year we're going to grow as readers, just like Jack's Beanstalk. We've learned that we need to set goals for ourselves to read more and more. And we've learned to also scoop our snap words into bigger phrases so we can read faster and faster. Now, because we are making goals to read longer books and to read faster, it's very important that as you're reading, you're also thinking. You don't want the words to go in one ear and go out the other because then you forget about what you're reading. So one way to help you not forget what you're reading and to also check your comprehension, your understanding, is to stop, think, and retell. Can you say that with me? Stop. Think and retell, whichever way you want to go, retell. So let's look at Katie Wu. We're going to look at the first chapter of Katie Wu Has a Flu, and we are going to read through it. And then we are going to um, use that strategy, stop, think, and retell to see if we are understanding what we're reading. We don't want the information to go in one ear and out the other. So we're gonna use that strategy, stop, think and retell with this first chapter of Katie Wu. So it's called Achoo. So as we're re reading readers, make sure we're also thinking about what's happening in the story, who the characters are, how the characters are feeling, all that is going on as we're reading. Achoo, said Katie Wu. Bless you, said her mom. Achoo, Katie sneezed again and again and again. I feel funny, said Katie, but not in a fun way. My tummy hurts too. Uh-oh, said her mom. I think you have a bug. Ugh, said Katie. I don't want bugs running around in my tummy. Not that kind of bug, said her mom. A flu bug. Good, said Katie but I still feel bad. I still, I feel hot too, Katie moaned. Her mom took her temperature. You have a fever, she said. That's why you feel so hot. No school today, you're going back to bed. I feel so hot, I might melt, Katie moaned. Don't worry, her mom assured her. You're not ice cream, you won't melt. I'm so glad, said Katie. All right, readers, I hope you were thinking as we're reading because now we're going to stop, we're going to think, and we're going to retell. Say that with me, stop, think, and retell. Okay, so with a partner, will you turn and tell what are the big events that just happened in chapter one? And you can even talk about how Katie Wu is feeling and the characters, um, the other characters in the story. So stop, think, and retell with the partner really quickly. Turn and talk. All right, readers, let's bring it back in. Thank you so much for those great retails. That is how you check your comprehension. So as you're reading longer books, make sure to use this strategy so you can remember what's happening in the story, okay? So before we end, I have one more strategy that I wanna teach you because remember I said I had two. So stop thinking retail was the first one and I'm about to teach you the second one. So we just learned to stop, think, and retell. But as we're reading, we can also stop and do other things. Now, sometimes there's things that pop into your head. You have ideas, you have wonders. Another strategy that you can do to help you keep track of what's happening in, of the story is to do stop and jots. And this will help you remember ideas and all the thoughts that pop up in your head. So we're gonna read a little bit of chapter two and I'm gonna demonstrate how, um, if there's an idea will pop into my mind, how I'm gonna stop and jot that down in a post-it note. Katie fell asleep and had a bad dream. She dreamed she was a polar bear who lost her fur. She shivered and shook. When Katie woke up, her mom read a story. It was about a girl with hair so long she could jump rope with it. 
Her dad sang her a happy song. Katie drew a picture of the flu bug flying away from her. Katie's mom brought her hot soup and toast. Ill soup, Katie moaned. Ill toast. I'm not hungry. Hmm, I'm going to stop there. First, I'm going to stop and kind of retell what happened. We know that Katie's still not feeling good. She's in bed and she must have a temperature because she's so cold. And she have, has this little wonderful dream about a girl who's doing jump ropes with the, her long hair. Her dad sang her a song. She drew a picture and now her mom is bringing her food. Now I had a thought that popped up into my mind. The food looks fine to me. I'm looking at the picture, the toast and the soup. It looks fine, but it looks like Katie, um, she says ill. So maybe she's still not feeling good uh, because she's not even hungry and she doesn't want that food. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab my post-it note and I'm going to jot that idea down. Now I'm gonna even write down the page number. It's important that you go ahead and start um, marking that page number because you're kind of finding the evidence in the story to support your idea. So I'm gonna write down this on a post-it note. I'm gonna say Katie Wu, or just say Katie is still sick. She's not even hungry. Okay, so after you write that on your post-it note, you can stick it on your page that you um, just read. And this is what I put on the post-it note, page 15, Katie is still sick. She's not even hungry. Readers, there's something else really important that I wanted to show you. Now, when you're doing stop and jots, that key word is jots. It's really quick. It's not long, it's a short jot. So you look over here, some things you can write down if you, um, for your jots, you can do symbols. You can do a smiley face, a sad face. You can do a question mark, exclamation point, hearts, um, anything that helps you remember your idea, you can jot that down. Another example down here, you can do some short jot, short words. You can maybe write down why, I wonder why this is happening. Um, you can say still sick or something short, kind of like a different Katie Wu, I said she was still sick or Another example, you can say old man folk wire is lonely, but the theme, the thing that's happening on all these are it's short. You want to keep your jots short because we don't want to take away from your reading, reading time. I don't want you to sit there writing on your post-it note and writing and writing that you're losing your reading time. We want to use as much reading time actually reading. So if you look at this example on the right with the thumbs down, this would not be a good example because look at all that writing. It says, in the beginning, Katie was sneezing and seizing. She wasn't feeling so well. Her tummy was hurting. Katie's mom told her that she had the stomach bug. She, do you see how this is going on and on and on? You're doing all this writing and you should be reading. So readers, don't forget as you're doing your stop and jots, your jots need to be short, okay? You can do symbols, but make sure those words or um, short, we don't want a whole retail, just something, the idea that pops into your mind, do a quick jot and then keep on reading. So now I want you to give it a shot. If you have a post-it note, you can grab one. If you don't have a post-it note, grab a piece of paper, anything that you can help to, um, to write it down and help you remember your story. So we're gonna read these pages and then I want you to be thinking about what idea that you can think of to maybe talk about later with the partner, okay? So later, Jojo called Katie. I missed you today. Miss Winkle says it's not the same without you. Thanks, Katie croaked. Ribbit, Jojo croaked back. Katie smiled. Then Pedro called. He told Katie, when I broke my leg, everyone wrote funny things in my cast. Lucky you, said Katie. There is no cast with the flu. She drew a picture of everyone writing their names on her arms. That would tickle, Katie decided. So now I want you to think about what is an idea or what's a thought or a wonder that popped up in your head as you, as we were reading this part of the chapter. Will you turn and tell a partner what's something that popped up in your head that maybe you can talk with the partner later, a short jot, really quickly write it down or turn and talk with the partner. Go.
All right, readers, let's bring it back in. So I'm gonna show you the post-it note that I have. Um, I noticed that, uh, I thought that I had a wonder. Um, it seems like Katie's friends are cheering her up. So what you could have done, you could have, on your sticky note, you could have put a smiley face or you could have put some words like Katie's friends are cheering her up. Just something quick that you can write down to help you remember your idea. Don't forget that page number, okay? Because that's helping us find the evidence that supports our ideas and our thoughts and our wonders. All right, readers, so as you go off today, you have two important strategies that we just learned about today. We are focusing on stop, think, and retail. Say that with me, stop, think, and retail. And we're also gonna work on use jots, sorry, use stop and jots to remember ideas. All right, readers, don't forget all the things that we're working on to become strong readers. Make us a goal for today. How many books are you wanting to read today within your time frame? Scoop those words into bigger phrases so you can read faster. And now as you're reading those longer books, stop, think and retell. And also use stop and jots to help you remember your idea ideas. All right, readers, I hope you have a great time today working on your goals and trying to get stronger and stronger. Off you go.